Good day, Tech team. Welcome to today's lecture. We will discuss Special Inclusions Module 4 today. Special Inclusions is, in, is contained in Section 9 of the Income Tax Act. On the agenda for today, we will discuss the introduction for the Special Inclusions, Section 9. And we will also identify special inclusions as per the Income Tax Act. Upon completion of this unit, you should be able to discuss the introduction for special inclusions. You should also be able to identify the special inclusions as per the Income Tax Act. As mentioned already, special inclusions is contained in Section 9 of the Income Tax Act. Now, special inclusions are amounts that will be included in gross income, even if it does not meet all the requirements. And when we talk about the requirements, we are talking about the gross income definition requirements. So you will see that in this instance, for special inclusions, some of the requirements might not be present in terms of gross income but these amounts will still be included. So like the name say, they are specifically, they are special, they need to be included. So thus special inclusions overrides the other elements of the gross income definition. For example, capital, you will see that this is probably the most common one. Um, we know that if an item is of a capital nature it should be excluded from gross income but in terms of section 9 we say that there are specific items there are special inclusions that might be of a capital nature and they still need to be included in gross income special inclusions per paragraph we will look at the most common special inclusions to the gross income definition per paragraph and they are Paragraph A, annuities. Paragraph B, alimony. C, services. C, um, capital A and C, capital B, that deals with restraint of trade. Paragraph E deals with pension, provident and retirement annuity fund benefits. Paragraph F deals with commutation of amounts due. Paragraph G deals with lease premium. Paragraph G, capital A, that deals with Compensation for imparting of knowledge, paragraph H that deals with leasehold improvements, paragraph J capital A that deals with proceeds from disposal of certain assets, paragraph K that deals with dividends, and paragraph N that deals with amounts deemed receipts or accruals. And we will discuss each of these paragraphs in detail. Let's first have a look at the tax framework again. We are still busy with gross income because special inclusions as contained in Section 9 of the Income Tax Act will also be included in gross income. Please take note that you don't have a separate line item called special inclusions. It is just included under gross income. As mentioned earlier, they are specific, they are special inclusions into gross income. 